Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Today I'm going to play Eden, and we're going to see where that leads us. That leads us to... Uh, I, I don't know what my other item is, but I know that I have the monster manual. Here's the seed, and I have a syringe, but I don't know which syringe that is, thanks. Because, I mean, it's not speedball, it doesn't look like. Speedball, I'd be happy. Uh, it's not growth hormones. Is it the virus? Is that what that is? Like, I just can't tell. Oh well. I don't have to know. So I have good fire rate. My damage is... <laughs> My health is clearly bad. Speed is fine. Uh, we got we got stuff. That's about all I got. Alright, this is a room that I just hate messing with. It's, it's a dumb room because these enemies are dumb. They don't follow the rules. And they go way too fast to dodge if they decide to go through you as their path. So, you know, it's just kind of dumb. But if they don't decide to go through you, then it's fine. Well, I have an extra key. Sure, why not? Bounces around on diagonal, shooting spectral homing tears. Book of secrets. Uh, I gotta stick with the, the one formerly known as Manuel. Another tinted rock I would very much like to... Well, thanks. You could have done that in a more convenient location. You too, maybe. Might have appreciated it. I would very much appreciate getting uh, some bombs. Of course, if I get one bomb, there's the one plus one free in that other room. And turn that into something. Get both of the tinted rocks. It'd be great. I know you can do it. I know you want to do it. Because you want to be the nicest game. I got two keys. I used one, but I got two. Uh, the pearl. I'll take the pearl. See what we got. Headless baby. Tracks blood on the ground. Damages enemies that uh, walk on it, or sit on it like Dingle is right now. Yep, I know. Yep, I know. Yep. Dingle's a really good boss, by the way. One of the best designed bosses in the game. It's not hard or anything, but it's just really well designed. All the attacks have good tells. Uh, you know, you can really learn it. It's, it's hard at first when you don't know everything. You know, it's, it's, it's a good boss. What do we got? Screw, tears and shots beat up. Okay, so we don't get any bombs, apparently. Well, that sucks. Two tinted rocks that I don't get to get. Two secret rooms that I know the locations of. I don't have a how to jump or anything. So I can't get those bombs. We're just, we're done. It's fine. So, I do have a key though. That's always nice. I'm gonna get a bomb in this room. Oh, I didn't. I got a soul heart. That's amazing. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and give credit to the, uh... Pearl for that. Pearl increases the non-specific heart chance to be soul hearts. Which is nice. And yeah, I know. I didn't get bombs because I didn't have the magnet or something like that. And I'm still not taking the magnet. Because I don't want red hearts coming at me later when I want to have Polaroid invincibility, for example. It just doesn't sit with me as something that I, I would ever want. I think this room's worth it. Oh wow, little brim. That's a good, good roll. Wow, this sucks. Room is being a big jerk bot. Right. Someone's alive beyond these dudes. Seriously, the little brim, that was sick. That was like perfect too. I really need some luck now, because I messed up too bad. What do? Guys, <laughs> what do? I wouldn't like to die here. Oh, I don't have the... God dang it, now I'm dead. I'm pretty much just dead. Well, that's fine. These weren't very exciting starting items. Take that. Oh, man. Now I can live. Maybe. Okay, it is the virus. I can't believe they didn't die. I was just like, alright, they're dead, it's fine. Alright, well, let's do this again. Got the tick to start. 
think that's the Miter, yeah. Which is another thing that increases the chance that Soul Heart drops. Uh, replace regular Heart drops. Uh, we got a bad fire rate. Looks like our damage is okay, though. Yes, our damage is okay. And we got the book of Belial, which allows us to uh, increase our damage by two every three rooms. And guarantees every devil or angel room will open for us and will stay open for us. It is a solid item. Kind of want to just take damage this room. Kill these guys instantly. But it's not worth. Like, definitely not worth. Let's see what we got this time. Volatar. Good. Good item. We track slowing on the ground and have a chance to shoot a slowing tear. Uh, it's actually, like, a really, really good item. Probably underrated, if I had to guess. But that's cool. I like it. That's what I care about. You know, I like this item. Maybe you like it too, and that's cool. I can't take that, because I, I already have the tick. You can't drop the tick. The tick will lower boss health by 15%. But, um... Alright, lowers boss health by 15% and heals you for one full red heart, but you can't drop it. So, you're just stuck with it. If you only have one trinket slot, tough. So this run, I don't get to pick up trinkets unless I get Mom's Purse. Which uh, is pretty much the only time I'd say it sucks, because you can very easily avoid uh, picking it up if you care. Should definitely increase my damage here. But, you know, you know full well what you're getting into. It's just if you forget about it and walk through it, which is your own mistake, or if you, uh... Because, like, the spawning on you thing isn't a problem anymore, because you have that huge pickup time where it doesn't pick up <laughs> before counting is fully spawned or whatever. But, you know, it's, it's pretty much your fault if you take it. Cube? Yes. Cube of Meat actually blocks tears, which is why I wanted it over the ball of bandages. And, uh... Wow! The early Super Envies are just strong. I have a bad fire rate. This is going to be a painful experience. It's also going to be even slower than normal. Unless I use the cube meat, of course, uh, because of my fire rate and the rocks. You know, both of those things are kind of large contributing factors. Alright. Excellent. So far, so good. Come on. Man, you're just cruising on around, middling-sized dude. Okay. Really, though, early game Super Envy, not my friend. Still, we got it done perfectly, even without tears. Sucks that I had to do it at all, but it got done perfectly. All right, dudes. I know. I know. You have a desire to be the scummiest. And you expect me to allow it to just happen. But that's not how we do things around here. Still no bombs, man. I think this is a different run. But, like, no bombs. What's what's going on? You know, I need those to, like, things. I do need those to things. Alright. So that pill is going to be a balls of steel. I, I, I know it. I need it. So I know it. I was hoping it wasn't bombs or keys specifically. Because I now have no keys, but I can go get that bomb. Or that tinted rock with the bomb. Okay. That should 
do just fine, even if it had gotten hit by the thing. Would have pushed it into a good spot still. I can't get a good angle on that. This should work. I don't have any keys, so... Three rainbow poops. That's amazing. Rainbow poops give you full health. Red hearts, that is. Full red hearts. Dang, another tinted rock. Okay, let's go find the item room first. I don't know why, but I feel like today that's the thing to get. So, let's get that thing. Alright, fortunately, since everything gets slowed as it approaches me, I can really, really easily position for the cube of meat to do my work for me. Which I like a lot. D100. Uh, no thanks. Sadly, that's a special item. So, that means that just by seeing it, I'm less likely to get other special items that I might prefer, like the D6, or, I don't know, something else. But, uh, that item is the D6, the D4, and the D20 all in one. It rerolls my build, the items in the room, and the pickups in the room. It does all of those things. Tears up by 0.7, that's like maybe the best thing I could have gotten there. And just to lock in Devil Rooms, I will take the Necronomicon and then drop it. That gets it out of the other like three pools it's in, so that's something at least. The fire rate does make a difference, uh, that's pretty nice. Oh, I could have gone to the boss challenge room and then maybe seen... Um... I forgot what I was saying. Oh well. It'll be okay. Oh, maybe gotten like a bomb for that tinted rock. That's what I was talking about, the challenge, boss challenge room. You know, there you go. I solved the mystery, guys. Alright, even though I have a better fire right now, my build is still not strong enough for me. So I'm practicing by playing it real tight to enemies and just not getting hit anyway. Okay, so I got Midas Touch, which is when I come into contact with an enemy, that enemy turns to gold. If I kill it while it's gold, I get money. I also do contact damage equal to my coin count, which is, like, stupidly powerful. And, of course, as I do more and more damage there, I kill the enemies just by touching them. And I just get more money so I can do more damage. A uh, very, very good item. <laughs> and this champion gives me money. What do you want? What more do you want? Well, it's not going to drop very much, apparently. But it's uh, still free money. Health up. And there's my devil room, guaranteed, of course. I'm not going to take that because it's useless. Just stock up my health for next floor. Uh, and since this is a bad run, maybe I'll get a teleport or something. I'll just go see if I can get uh, something in a boss rush. If I can make it there. I guess I may as well just do this to check. IV bag. Alright. Good to know it's there, I guess, but not necessary. Ooh. Terrible luck. That's fine. That's fine. That didn't do anything. He went to me. This uh, sets you to one filled red heart. If you have red hearts, and then it. Um, wait. How did I get contact without getting hit? That doesn't make sense. Anyway, uh, and then drops a random amount of red hearts. Full red hearts uh, from one to four on the ground. So let's see, I think I had a soul heart uh, above that black heart, or un like underneath that black heart, so like I should still have a soul heart available. But now I don't. Well, that was terrible. I might die. 
Well, I have full health, at least. God dang it. You want to chill, maybe? Thanks for almost killing Sloth for me, though. That was nice of you. Do it again. Alright, if you're going to just aimlessly fire bombs at nothing at all, I'm just going to move on with my life. Oh, there you go. Good one. Joker. Kind of worth using it right now, just because of my health situation. I, I mean, I messed up bad, but... Kind of worth just using this now. This room's probably worth this. I just really don't have much damage. I need, like, an Abaddon, though, in order for this to work out. So that's pretty unlikely. Oh, there you go. That's pretty nice. I mean, I don't see a better time to use this card than right now. Talked myself into it. Alright, first guppy piece. Use it once. That turns one red heart container into three soul hearts. That uh, was pretty nice, actually. A very good item to pick up. Again, one third guppy. Really? Got hit again? Well, good thing I have a lot of soul hearts then. I don't have any bombs. God, this keeps happening. Chance to fire a slowing tier. That's good. Hey, where are you going? Friend. Thanks. Okay, goodbye. And goodbye. This is like, I don't know. Oops. Of course, I can just keep stacking up on money, but I actually don't want to do that too much. Because I don't want to be taking damage this much. He gives me money. Well, he has a chance to give me money. Look at it that way. I am going to go to the shop. As you might expect. But you might not expect it because of Midas Touch. Got to keep my contact damage high. I don't know. This is a pretty trash run, though, so far. Just takes one thing for this to get really good, though. Ouch. Well, that's still something. And I can take this, BOGO Bombs. Every time a bomb pickup drops, it's instead 1 plus 1 free. Which helps quite a lot. Oh, he was that color. I didn't realize. Well, sucks when you're me and you don't know these things sometimes. My health is in pretty bad shape, but I'll just take the uh, paw and use it when I get there again, assuming I don't die in this boss fight. Okay. Uh, this is a pretty bad boss for use of the cube of meat. But I can make it happen anyway. Health up. I'll keep one then and just use this again. Maybe my health will be kind of okay. I'm not making very good time. Uh, I'm just skipping a lot of stuff in order to make something similar to good time. I thought I had another red heart more than I did. Mistaken. Nice thing is... If you get hit and you have all these iframes, you may as well just uh, run into some enemies. Oh, I didn't expect that. Alright, treasure map. That's good news. I'm going to blow this dude up for keys, hopefully. Or not. I mean, I knew that wasn't bombs or key technically since I already got one, but hey. Make sure this isn't the item room. It's not. Perfect. Perfect. Another one plus one free. See, this is why I got this. Finally have a bomb count that uh, isn't negligible. Or pointless. Well, good thing I'm good, right? By the way, dumbest thing about these dudes is that when they start moving, their brimstone hitbox is still out there. So if you get caught in a like spot that's just not pleasant... 
and they just move, they'll just hit you. Because they're still putting out that hitbox. That's ridiculous. Alright, well, I want to go to the item room. I'm feeling particularly bad at this point about my prospects in life. Oh my god. Can't do this. That was a lucky dodge, not a good dodge. If you were wondering. Could you not? Okay, there's a tinted rock though. Which is what we were preparing these bombs for. Oh, interesting. I didn't get the thing out in time to damage me. Ow. Nope. Scissors. Useless item. Terrible. Oh, yeah. Deactivates when I do the thing. I guess I should go to the shop. Oh, I already went. Oh, no, I didn't. Yeah, that was a library. See, I know what I'm doing subconsciously on some level, perhaps. Okay, this sucks. That just sucks. What are you gonna do? Buy the soul heart and the key, and then leave. Bomb each of these, and hope for black hearts, and not enemies. No, no can do. The world, full map minus the top secret room. Probably use that next floor. I don't think I can make the uh, boss rush though, no matter what I do. I just don't have a good enough build. It's just not something that's happening unless I get something amazing from this double room. Which, hey, it could happen. Hey, bro. Wanna not go on not the right style of movement. I mean, I guess he did, but what are you going to do? Alright, activate this. We're getting our second cube of meat here, which is nice. Oh. Oops. Well, it's fine. This will give me something good, right? Or not. Alright, well, I'm screwed because I played way too recklessly. So, second cube of meat. Orbital that uh, still blocks tears, but also shoots along with me. Small rock, one damage up. If I get something that modifies my tears, it's 0.2 tears up. And if I get something that modifies my speed, it's 0.2 speed down. Not what I needed. Well, I guess I can check for soul hearts here. I'm out of bombs. So, you know, that's always nice. I'm screwed. I mean, I did this to myself, though. Can't blame anyone other than me. I don't have any bombs. Item room was... I forgot. Whatever, we're gonna go. Well, I yeah, you know, I'm just not... Uh, maybe? Fortune teller. No. Well, this dream is dead. I mean, obviously, I could have just played better and this wouldn't have happened. But at the same time, if you were to say that my runs recently haven't just been trash, you would be incorrect. Okay, that was purely avoidable, of course. I should have used the uh, thing. Anyway, we'll just do another Azazel thing, because that's kind of fun. Uh, yeah, if you were to say that I haven't had just terrible runs, then that would be incorrect. But I also could always play better. Less recklessly, but it's more fun that way. Still, I don't care about winning, so I'm just having fun, and I, I've, I've accomplished that pretty decently, I'd say. By pretty decently, I mean I've done a pretty great job of it. I've had a lot of fun. So winning's pretty unimportant. I like trying to make my way out of a hole that I've dug more than I do just kind of not getting into that hole in, in the first place, as many of you may know. So that was certainly more interesting that way, but I messed up. So Thunder Thighs is speed down. I break props by walking on them, as well as rocks. It is pretty good. 
apparently I'm uh, a little slower than I thought because I wouldn't think this would have this much impact on Zazel's uh, movement. But it clearly does. Alright, gotta wait. Dead. Health up, sure. Let's go. Hmm. Why? Why would I do that? I like how they still act like there are rocks there. Pretty fly, nice. Blocks tears, kills flies. Oops. See it. What do you got? A chest. Okay, I'll do it. Take this. Uh, with two bombs, I can get into the black market. But apparently I suck at the method. Uh, but you can bomb yourself through the walls and stuff to get there if you uh, are so inclined. Oh, this doesn't lead anywhere. I don't know why I didn't check the map before doing that, but I didn't. So just wasted time in there. That's Hey, maybe there was a tinted rock, but there wasn't. Still, I didn't know that. Still, I am trying to do this kind of quickly. At this point in time, I'm definitely not on a good pace. Whereas, you know, last time I did this, I was at five minutes going into the depths or something. Not to say that can't happen. It certainly could. But my prospects aren't looking great. Spectral Tears. I shouldn't have even bothered picking it up. But too late now. Wow, well, be convenient to have. Should just bomb for it, but eh. I'll pretend I can't. Nice. Of course, any more speed down is not a good thing. Candle would speed me up, but uh, it's okay. I'll be fine. Tears up, nice. So that gives me the extra tears up. Let's get out of here. Excuse me. So again, not making good time, but we got, we got. We got time to build it. Sort of. Okay. Forgot I accidentally crushed stuff just by walking on it. Didn't get hurt somehow. Ah, well, that, that made up for it. Does it both of them hurt me in that scenario? Kind of funny, I guess. Bean. Sweet. Just what I needed. Pick it up just to make sure it doesn't show up in any other pools. Probably not worth the time, but hey. Still got this fool card just in case I need to do anything. Uh, like steal from the boss rush. But I, I don't know. We'll see if I need to. Give me a treasure map. It's not a treasure map. I don't need them. Kind of the big thing I need is mapping. Keys are good too. Dang it. Wow. Wow. Yeah, okay, my luck sucks. Uh, I should take that trinket just for the off chance of the uh, compass effect. Should have thought a little quicker, but it's fine. We go back. We're all good. Of course, I also can get a damage up, tears up from it. Oops. Okay. Health up. Perfect. I didn't even mean to take that. Oh well. I was just going to use the paw on that. Well, actually, I was going to save it and see if I got a, a, another guppy piece or two in the future. Faster. Sometimes just tank some black hearts, man. It'll be fine. Got me peace. I don't get the soul heart for this. It's risky, but let's just not get hit. 
so Guppy's head spawns two to four kamikaze flies. Uh, usable every room. Oh, okay, we're good. And what else did I pick up? I forgot. Oh, the mark. One damage up, point two speed up, and uh, a soul heart. Thought I might have saw a tinted rock. Nope. Alright, well. We'll see. Can we do it? Definitely want to check that room out. What the heck? Again? That's just ridiculous. How do I keep seeing the knife? Four is a D6 for the floor. I don't really have a use for it, as there are no items currently available. But, you know, that's cool. Soul heart in here. As expected. Buy this. Be on my way. I'm still really just slow. Seriously, I don't know what's up with the knife. Knife luck man. That's fine. Uh, when I get down to one heart, I get... I already went here. When I get down to one heart, I get uh, an Acronomicon effect because of the missing page 2 I picked up. Tears Up is actually pretty nice. Uh, I wouldn't complain about that. So six minutes. My only wish at present... Screw it. Health up. Tears up, excellent. Alright, this is a pretty big skip. So I'm just not gonna go to the item room. I don't really need it, I'm kinda powerful. The only thing that sucks is that I haven't picked up a heart yet. But I got time. One damage up. 0.23 shots beat up. There's my guppy. Which doesn't help me very much, but hey. Uh, every time I hit with a tear, which doesn't work very frequently with a knife, even though, you know, you hit a lot with a knife. Every time I hit with a tear, uh, it spawns a kamikaze fly, which does twice my damage. And uh, I gain flight, which I already had. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I feel good about this direction. Ah, uh, yeah. And uh, dead cat, of course. Which uh, gives, sets me to one filled red heart. It gives me nine respawns at one filled red heart. Pretty good. Excuse me. Thank you. Okay, item room. I mean, you just did that to yourself. You didn't have to pop up, but you're like, no, nah, I got this. I'm okay without becoming Blue Baby. I mean, that, that guy definitely did just like I got this to himself. That, that was how that happened. Excuse me, I want that. Thanks. This is a really roundabout method of getting where I want to go. I'm hoping that it's not wrong. Chariot's actually pretty good with the knife because it doesn't put the knife away. But that's cool. I'll use it when it's uh, important. I don't know when it'll be important at this point, but I'll use it when it's soon. Gonna be important. Nice. Full map for the floor. Minus uh, secret rooms. Which is fine. Uh, I'm gonna bomb through this because it's gonna be slow. Oh, oh. My own fault if I had gotten hit, though. Those were free dodges. I was just being impatient. Full map for the floor. I'd rather have that. Not like I'm... Too, uh, in too dire a situation. It's faster than Perthro. Perthro, of course, uh, D6 for the room. One time D6. Of course, D6 for the room. Don't have a teleport. It's okay, because nothing's worth it. I'm feeling actually pretty good about this particular attempt. Alright, let's place our faith in this direction. So every so often when I hit with a knife, you will notice that uh, I do get a fly. Pretty sweet. 
but obviously not as much as it could be if I still had the brimstone. That would be 13 hits per uh, per shot, 13 flies per shot. Every single one would spawn a thing. Pretty great. Only one soul heart. Wow. And I got the double bomb skin. It's like the double bombs are meant to be there or something. Sadly, this rune doesn't break uh, Curse of Darkness. Or not Curse of Darkness. Curse of the Lost. It's like I'm still used to playing the original game or something when I haven't played it at all. Yeah, it's, uh, it's alright. How have I gotten all the double rooms, man? It's insane. Uh, so that's 0.5 damage up and some amount of range up. I don't need any of this stuff, obviously. I'm making pretty decent time, yo. Alright, it's obvious that I go up. Ten minutes. Oops. Let's just see what's in here. And it would be worth it if I weren't already guppy. Dang, dude. I'm just thinking that I'll get away with what I... With whatever, and I'm not. Three or three. I'm just gonna... Okay, it's this way. So you notice that uh, I actually still have the compass effect. That's not gonna go away. If you get the compass effect from... Um, whatever that trinket is. <laughs> the Liberty Cap. While you have the treasure map, you're actually going to get to keep it. Thinks you just have the compass. Which is pretty cool, because you've seen the full map rather than just part of it. I don't know. It's weird. But it's good. At least that didn't cost me anything. Time-wise, that is. Like, barely cost me. Okay, so let's see if we get... It's obvious where I go. Which means that I'm just going to use this even if it's obvious on the chest. Then I can't possibly mess up. Hint of rock luck is real. So real. I don't need any of this stuff. Now, if I were playing super optimally here for going fast. I wouldn't pick up I don't need keys, man. Stop it. I wouldn't even take the time to open the chests because I have a build that can win. But I want to see what they are. And I could get something cool. And fun. But that's fine. Uh, the sun is just, you know, less mapping than the rune. I don't know why I'm doing it. Okay, it's fine. There was no good reason to do use that pill at all. Really? Alright, hug the chest. Alright, so absolutely nothing useful. Actually, this is useful technically. Ten seconds of invincibility could be all it takes to... Well, would be all it takes to win against pretty much anything in this game right now with this build. But yeah, it was pretty obvious which way I was going to go. But why not? It, it does suck being pretty slow. But I, I should be okay. Like, I should be able to clear any room with one heart. Oops. That was close doesn't really matter. Really? My damage is less than I thought it was. It's two health up right there. Nice. And then that's a win. 13 minutes, 45 seconds game time. Hey, sure. Works for me. All right. Uh, sorry, I lost the Eden run, of course, but had to have more fun than take it slow and win. That's what the stream's for right now. So watch those if you want to see me try to win, like no matter what. 
Uh, yeah, that's going to do it for today. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.